Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. I remember this beach. This is Miss Squamakit. This is in Rhode Island, and it has an invasion going on of dragonflies. Now, I don't know about you, but I view dragonflies in a very positive way. Um, in fact, we are, our property is usually swarming with dragonflies. They, they come out. Uh, and just interact with us all day long. They seem to follow me gardening and, and cutting the lawn. <laughs> they do. They come out and they join and they dance around and they say hello and they, they hang out. You know, dragonflies have been a part of my life for a very long time. You know, showing up in, the, in, in a way where it's almost like that's a loved one. I know that that is a loved one. And at one point in my life, they were just following me everywhere. So this was this is really interesting and curious what's going on here at this beach. Um, this is in Rhode Island. It's in Rhode Island. Yeah, I, I do remember this beach pretty well. Uh, he, he, memories more of childhood and you know youth, etc. Yeah. So I found it fascinating that we did this video. <clears throat> All right. People are in shock. Did you hear what he said? Can you believe this? And really, there was two two parts to that that of uh, what he talked about. One was not being able to make out quite clearly, and it's interesting. It's almost like a 50-50 split. Half the people heard him say, uh, I am a Christian, and half heard him say, I'm not a Christian. And it was interesting how split that was, but really the part that I thought was even more interesting was why in the world would we have no more voting in four years? There's not going to be any more voting. We're going to fix it. And yet there was only maybe less than 10% of the comments were about that statement. It was all about whether or not he uh, said he's a Christian. And I think that says an awful lot. I think it says uh, everything. In some ways, again, I think this was a test. I think that the way he spoke that, was entirely on purpose. And um, I think it's a, a fascinating, little, fascinating little psychological test for, for us. Oh, gosh, it's huge. And, and I'm with Mike. I, I think this was practiced before he, he came out there. And it is like a, almost like a bait and switch type of energy because he puts uh, what people are constantly thinking about, you know, which is religion, he puts that on the forefront and then he slips in. It's almost like slipping in um, the the fine print, <laughs> the fine print. And he says it really fast. He says, "Don't worry. You know, we're gonna we're gonna fix this so you never have to vote again. We're gonna fix it so good you never have to vote again." I think that was his his words. Pretty darn close, anyhow. And no one no one paid attention to that. Everyone was so hung up on the religious aspect of it all. I, I mean, why aren't people looking at that? I, I think the voting thing is pretty important. Yeah, and I, I think, again, uh, it's the illusion of things. That's what everything gets exposed in uh, this new age, <laughs> which terrifies, again, some people of a certain mindset. Yet, at the same time, when you look at the Bible itself, it does talk about the new age, the birth pangs of a new age. So it's just fascinating to see this. Yeah, it, it's been used as a divisive uh, measure by non-human entities uh, for thousands of years. And in fact, I do think they mock us all the time. I think they kind of laugh and giggle at humans as you uh, see this right here from the flat earther. And I was just saying to Cindy, you know, some of our flat earth friends, while we disagree with uh, the flat side of things, but the earth isn't perfectly round either. And the, the earth is um, in a period of, I think, expansion. I really do. And, and maybe it's time to go deeper down that expanding earth rabbit hole again. Uh, we did a video. I did a video shoot, I think, 2018 about expanding earth theory. And I do think it is um, actual. I think it's pretty obvious the Earth is expanding, uh, and it, it's it's r totally being changed uh, from what it was. But the Earth has a lot of catch up to do. Uh, it really, really does. Uh, it's been hindered from progressing in so many ways. Now, 
this I just got this video back up this was our live yesterday we, we were we were live yesterday for an hour and seven minutes and ten seconds now it was uh, 20 seconds there was a 10 second clip in there that after uh, 3.2 thousand views which was the most views uh, we've had in a long time um, uh, they they blocked this everywhere they blocked the video everywhere for a 10 second clip that was in there um that was showing something about the olympics um you know you can still see that 10 second clip over on uh patreon as again everything goes up on patreon um oh, they they actually took about 35 seconds out so there might be a little gap in there now but uh, you know, I, I went and tr went to trim and, and did, I thought, trim the content out before going to bed so we could get it back up on, on YouTube. And uh, it, it wasn't trimmed out in the morning and I had to redo it again this morning uh, so that it could be put back up. I think it was a really good show. We had a lot of, I mean, a huge amount of stuff we covered. And we are uh, thinking that we might do a Sunday live tradition and, and we'll try to add some more uh, lives in as time allows and as everything allows in this crazy time we're in right now. Look closely at Elon's words when it comes to the situation in Venezuela. And the situation in Venezuela right now is um, they may be teetering on some sort of uh, civil war. There's definitely some angst going on as there was an election and uh, Maduro is is claiming victory other sources are saying he lost in a landslide who do you trust I, I don't trust any of the media you know so again you got to really feel what it feels like to be inside Venezuela and you know we're not you know <laughs> we're thousands of miles to the north so, you know, we're not inside there to get a real feel for what's happening. But you see uh, exit polls, Edison Research, uh, Wall Street Journal. Again, obviously, this there is this obvious split, you know, between those nations that are supporting the, uh, the BRICS side of things and, and the old NATO side of things. Um, obvious split. And Venezuela is very much aligned with China and Russia. And so, you know, this is showing Gonzalez 65%, Maduro 31%. And Elon is saying, what a travesty here. And what we have going on is, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a situation being painted, I should say, of uprest, upheaval, of a dictatorship, of um, military clampdown. This is what's being painted. In reality, are everybody going about their normal day and this is just a, a filming that's going on? I'm pr I don't know because, again, we're not there. But we do know that there is absolutely always uh, so much just scripting uh, and, and of everything, all these events. So you see regiments of Venezuelan sol soldiers, um, what can you say? You know, it's to be expected. Venezuela is key. It's at the top of um, South America again. And you have here the statement the United States will become Venezuela if 45 is not elected or reelected. As um, Harris was tweeting that the U.S. stands with the people of Venezuela who express their voice. Da, 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 da. So, you know, she is, you know, saying that, again, uh, you know, uphold elections and then, again, pot calling the kettle black. It's, but the bigger thing is, I think it goes back to that thing with, um, you know, what did he say? Well, you know, this is, again, how they get us. And, boy, you know, you had Russell Brand coming out and, and becoming a member of the Catholic Church, making a big to-do of it. Right now, it what they're doing is they are lighting fires under Christians, lighting fires under Muslims, because they want to light the whole world on fire. This is just so obvious. Stand, stand outside of that fray. Don't get caught up in this um, 
anger that's going to be uh, coming because, again, I think this is so telling. And Elon says, I think the risk of this is very real, the U.S. becoming like Venezuela. Well, you know, again, if there is another civil war, it was pretty much telegraphed and we've seen it coming for years. Uh, The other aspect of that, too, is the economic situation because Venezuela, don't forget, had ran, runaway inflation. They had people literally slaughtering cows in fields and, and, and cutting up cows to take home because people were starving, or at least that's what has been portrayed again. It's all one big illusion, and the reality is the puppet masters, they're not capitalists, they're not communists, they're not any of these labels, really. They just take these labels on because we believe in the labels. And that suits them. They'll create new levels, new new labels last time. And they have had other labels in the past. And they just recycle things. But Elon is key because, again, Elon, Elon knows. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does. He knows the plan. He's in on the plan. And uh, <laughs> you look at it. And, and really, I do hope that more people recognize what, what was said with... Uh, Mr. T, as far as fixing the elections, we will have it fixed so good, you will never have to vote again. I hope people sit on that more. I hope they ask more questions and, you know, try to figure out what did that mean instead of, you know, being kind of sideswiped or sidewalled with the other information about a Christian. Yes, that's going to get people's ear, but what is important to you? You know, how does it affect you? His religion, you know, that's just a political thing for him, a personal political thing for him, and it's part of his script. But if people are not going to vote anymore, what does that mean for us? You know, what is it going to look like? You know, I guess there is some Nostradamus prophecies about that um, as well, but we'll have to wait and see how it plans out. Absolutely. So, Communist March in Philadelphia today, as you see that old hammer and sickle coming out. <clears throat> and, you know, all this is is just divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. And we're going to that next stage in this big, big drama. It is a drama. Um, it does have real consequences. Uh, here you see France now suspects far-left extremists to be behind the train sabotage a few days ago. Um, yeah, you know, and, and again, we, we can't, we can't let ourselves be divided. The reality is, you know, most are still, uh, hanging on to some of the conditioning that they've been brought up with. I think there is just, uh, an amazing bevy of new channels or maybe not even new channels as, as I've, um, kind of like broadened my scope and you know that tartaria thing and and more than just tartaria because there's so many resets that have happened in the past a lot of people are out there doing great jobs exposing all this nobody has all the answers none of us have all the answers Um, but at least you know some are doing real deep dives down there uh, to to expose it and you know i was watching uh john levy last night um before bed and uh for those that aren't familiar he kind of does what cindy and i were doing for a while which is he goes out and explores areas and and he sees the anomalies for himself uh and we have too and 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 i've said you know many times and especially to to cindy and some other friends you know uh, cindy's family is over in the west and you know, 85% of Nevada, you cannot buy. It's it's not for sale. 85%. I think Wyoming is about the same. Uh, it, it's way up there. 85, 90% of Wyoming is just simply not for sale. Why does Wyoming have less people than Alaska? Um, because it, it's pretty. Yeah, it, it does get cold and challenging. It's, again, a lot of government land. When you look at it, crown land. Look at Canada. 95% or better is crown land. Same thing with Australia and New Zealand. There's places they don't want you to go because there's too much evidence still there that we've had very high technological 
um, civilizations here where you could see they were wiped out. And it was technology. It wasn't nature. It was technology that did that. So, you know, it's um, John Levy. If you haven't checked out his channel, I would check it out. There's so many others. I'll um, make a little list for you guys, too, if you want to you know, go down these rabbit holes. It's not just us that are, are saying these things, although there are some things that we've gotten through channeling that I don't see other people talking about, and we're going to touch on one of those things uh, in a moment. But here you have, uh, before he leaves, uh, Biden is wanting to change the Supreme Court. No immunity for crimes for a former president committed in office. Term limits for a Supreme Court justices. Binding code of conduct for the Supreme Court. Everything that's being done is being done with the intent of wiping out the old and creating something completely new. I know. You look at that. No immunity. No immunity for, for presidents. You really got to think about that. What if he ends up you know, putting himself in a foxhole there <laughs> because of the laws that he's going to pass. It could bait and switch. Well, he's, he's not worried because, you know, again, do, did we ever get real evidence uh, of Hitler committing suicide? No. And, you know, of course, it, it'll be debunked that he went to South America and Antarctica, but he did. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he did not die a normal death is what we've gotten. It doesn't even seem like he's truly uh, dead in, in, in the normal sense right now when Cindy's looking at uh, his energy body. It doesn't feel like he ever really did the normal route of leaving the body. And it's probably because he's, he's merged with some sort of technology or has had technology uh, used on them to keep them yeah. going. I mean, it does feel weird when I when I look at him. There's there's a, a a monotone type of energy to it, and I don't really understand it. Like I, I don't understand a lot of things. I have a hard time translating when I get the energy. It's like I, I was talking to a friend the other day. It would be nice if you could just reach out and touch someone's hand, and then the energy transfer is done, and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> just the information is where it needs to be, and that's very much uh, that. That would be really, really, really wonderful if we could get to that point. And and I know that we are on our way. Absolutely. And again, please do subscribe to all the channels and have the little bells click for notifications. Um, I do think the, the real reason why they uh, took the live down yesterday for so long was to waylay it because it was going to be like the first one to go over 5,000 views in a long time. And they don't want us getting past a certain level because we're too much on uh, and exposed too much but they're having a hard time because more people are catching on with this and more people are exposing things in so many different channels on so many different venues that I think they're having a hard time keeping up with it um, I would expect that they will try to do a greater lockdown but we're in a race against time in so many ways um, because yeah, I do feel that uh, they are on their heels in some ways they, they can't they can't stop what's coming, but they're trying to delay it as long as possible. Meanwhile, Olympic athletes are getting bigger um, over time. Yes, there is a problem with obesity in the U.S., uh, that's for sure, and that's part of the SAD diet, and it is part of all the uh, simple sugars, processed foods, GMOs. You go on down the line, everything that's causing inflammation, but people are getting bigger overall. And isn't this interesting that this coincides with uh, the change of the yugas? Because, you know, it's been happening for a while. As we've shared, if it wasn't for this system, people would be living a lot longer, a lot longer. We would be way healthier, way stronger, way more intuitive. In fact, you know, when you look at even the records, and, and you can, and there'll be people that say, well, you know, it, it's, it's things like steroids and hormones and all these things that are making us uh, go and, and excel to a high degree in athletics uh, way more than what was, say, you know, 50 years ago or 100 years. Um, yeah, there is a lot of that, understanding the science of, of you know, 
how to tweak the body does have uh, something to do with it. But what I wanted to point out too, it's height and weight. So people are getting taller. They're also you know, getting larger overall. Um, this is something that's been noted in many countries. Uh, as you see, the 18-year-old men born in 1896 versus 1996. You know, Japan, for instance, 5'1 to 5'6. Hmm, isn't that interesting? You know, Belgium, 5'5 five five to 5'10. Five and same thing with women in Japan, 4'6 to 5'2. And if we look at the Czech Republic, you know, 5 feet to 5'5. Five five. So it, it, people are getting bigger. Is that just nutrition? Is it just uh, uh, science? <laughs> Interesting to note that, you know, again, with our flat earth friends and our people, uh, friends that still view things from a biblical perspective and put the Bible as, as you know, prime, many have said, you know, Noah and Adam would have been much bigger than us now because, again, there were giants in those days. Now, of course, we could go down the giant rabbit hole uh, from any single c country on the on, on this planet, I was going to say globe, I'll, I'll just leave it at planet for you guys. Um, the reality is, yeah, we have been shrinking for more reasons than one. I'll say the prime reason is the atmosphere. Um, number one, lack of oxygen. And this was something <clears throat> that Cindy had channeled um, that really was an aha moment for me. I do know that when we look to the science, they will even tell you on past ages, uh, we had a lot more oxygen in the atmosphere. And we had to, to, to support things like what we're you know, told the dinosaurs are. Uh, when you look to the, to the Vedic system, you know, this is us in a Kali Yuga. Uh, this is us in Dwapara or bronze. And then when you go over to the silver and then the golden, so you see, humans get bigger and, and are bigger in the other ages. The other thing that I, I love is the fact that people are catching on to the Vedic uh, knowledge and everything that's there. Because every time I go look at um, Cycle of the Yugas, it's expanding rapidly. And so many people have so many different takes on it. There's not an agreement on the time, uh, and I want to state that clearly because you have everything from millions of years to um, conclude one uh, cycle of the yugas uh, to just, you know, perhaps 24,000 years or so. It, there's not an agreement, and I think that's because, again, we don't really understand time scientifically because time is relative. It's relative to each yuga, and, and I don't understand it any more than really that at this point in time uh, because it's just been a slow reveal as to uh, the nature of this natural matrix. But everywhere you look, you will see uh, that this is understood. So we are out of the Kali Yuga according to what we've gotten from the guides. Humans are going to get bigger, and as you see, you know, 6 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. Not only that, but the lifespan goes and, and becomes enormous. They say in a golden age, and this is interesting because it is also in uh, the old Greek traditions. By the way, there's, there's more uh, printed transcribed words of Plato, really, uh, when you get down to it, than, than leftover pieces um, you know, of the Bible from before the year, quote unquote, zero, which what year was that really? Again, it, it's all a, a jumbled mess on purpose. Um, but yeah, our lifespans and our size and our abilities, I mean, we're superhumans when we're outside of a Kali Yuga. Uh, a, a human that's born somewhere deep in Dwapara or the Bronze Age is going to appear to be almost like one of those, uh, like a Thor, like a Greek god, like a superhuman, like something out of Marvel Comics. Uh, and, you know, exactly what are we when we're in the Golden Age is probably beyond most people's conception. Everything changes. The planet changes. Uh, the galaxy changes. The sun changes. And they're not stopping the changes on the sun as much as they 
want to. And this is part of what we wanted to get across. They know their time is short. They're trying to salvage as much as they can. Uh, Yet at the same time, it's all being exposed. And more and more people are are aware of this. As you see, awareness of God, ignorance of God, and really it's it's awareness of, of source and how our interaction with the source of all beings uh, it is a constant even when we don't understand it and we head down into the dark age. Source is always within us. The religions that have divided us instead of unifying us they are going to melt away. Dogma is going to melt away as as the knowledge comes out that we we don't need any uh, of of their rituals. Uh, while rituals can be a positive thing if it keeps our focus on growing spiritually, uh, the dark rituals that they do and the and the rituals that they have us do without us understanding what we're doing. Uh, you know, it's it's not linear. Time is not linear. And at the same time, uh, it's, it's relative. It is completely relative to where our consciousness is. Mm-hmm. I think it's very natural while we're in our human bodies to try to relate things in our own understanding, uh, even things from the past, even things from the future. It's like we see them a certain way so we want to keep them in that box and and time is one of the bigger ones that people want to keep in a box because they they're not ready to expand out of it and it it took a really huge type of event for me to understand that there is no time um and and it's not just time it's the etheric realm that we are in it's our physical bodies and our etheric bodies are changing with the ether the these things are going to change our thoughts they're going to change the way we behave it's going to turn that perspective in another direction like that kaleidoscope just think of a kaleidoscope that's going to change and it's going to make a whole new picture and we're not going to exactly understand how that is going to be but it is going to be you don't have to believe in it for it to happen you you don't have to um realize or you don't have to tell a a flower to bloom for it to bloom it just blooms and that's where we are at absolutely um and we do have some update that we're going to give in the uh, future video on uh, tiamat and the whole situation with tiamat uh yongtai is an ancient city it's still inhabited um when you look at this is over in china and look that at that wall well you know is that wall a natural formation i i don't think so i mean i think they're they think we're very stupid and i think they do test us in so many ways i think they're always kind of giving us iq tests and you know unfortunately the world failed miserably back about four years ago one particular iq test um but some people understood right from the get-go and others awakened after the fact and it's never too late you know we got to keep awakening as many as we can our healing power is tremendous and this is the other thing this is an age of miracles especially relative to the kali yuga we're stepping into an age that's going to be mind-blowing in potential as you see here carved right into the mountain they say in the fourth century by people in robes and sandals with chisels and donkeys so that they can make tombs why would they really do that you know again this is just this revisionist history the world is a much different place um, than what we are told and it was peopled by so many different races of yes extraterrestrials many different extraterrestrial beings and you know some are still here with us in fact again uh yeah humans were reintroduced uh, to Earth after the destruction of Tiamat, as we've you know shared. So many races were there was you know such an outpouring of all different beings from across uh, the galaxy and the universe, this particular universe, to come and to work to recreate something uh, that was beautiful that was destroyed in the bigger war. And here you see a bunny and a monkey sharing. We could all share. There's plenty. The earth uh, would be 
absolutely just so incredibly abundant if it wasn't for the system in place that wants to create scarcity so it could control through fear mm -hmm. we need to have a vision because our ability to manifest starts in our mind thoughts are actual things they can be measured with with tools they can be measured i think that's just absolutely amazing and incredible but anytime we want to bring something about, we need to have that thought and we need to have that idea. And what is that going to look like? And this is the beginnings of, you know, us creating our new world. So, you know, what do you want to create? I want to create a world where people are compassionate, where people are understanding, where people help one another with their traumas, where people are able to go somewhere to heal. <laughs> the light workers could go somewhere to heal after all the trauma that they've been through in the beginning of their lives. I mean, the trauma is very, very necessary. The struggle is necessary, but boy, they make it hard to heal after those struggles. So let's keep that in mind. Maybe we can find a place for healing and then we can bloom from there. As always, guys, thanks for your support. Look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.